Hi, I'm Gabby with Forney Industries. Let's talk about what you can expect when you first strike an arc with stick, MIG, or TIG welding. First, always remember your proper personal protective equipment. This includes a flame-resistant jacket, a welding helmet, welding gloves, and safety glasses to help protect you from harmful arc flash and sparks. For stick welding, there's two ways you can start your arc. You can scratch your electrode on your base material like a match, or you can tap it to get your arc going. When you first start your arc with stick, you may find that the electrode wants to stick to your base plate. If this happens, just give a twist to your wrist and the electrode should come unstuck. When using a contact rod, you want to make sure that your electrode stays in contact with the base metal the whole time. When using a non-contact rod, you want to stick out at about eighth of an inch. Remember your electrode is consuming itself, so your hand is moving closer to your workpiece. When starting your arc in MIG welding, you must pull the trigger. Once the wire hits the base plate, it will be extremely bright and make a loud popping noise. This is your arc. Once you get your bead going, maintain a stick out of 3 eighths of an inch. As you're welding, you'll notice that it sounds like crackling bacon. This is exactly the sound you should get when you have the appropriate settings. If you're getting a different sound, adjust your settings until you get a steady sound to your weld. The arc produced when TIG welding is not as intense and much quieter than stick or MIG welding. When TIG welding, you're going to use two hands, one for the filler metal and the other for your TIG torch. Inside of the torch, you have a non-consumable tungsten electrode. Once you've established your puddle with your base material, then add your filler metal by dipping it into your arc zone. Keep a tight arc. Your arc length should not be much more than the diameter of your tungsten. Also remember to keep constant gas coverage to protect from contamination. If you are having difficulties seeing the arc, turn your shade from a shade 10 to a shade 9 on your welding helmet. TIG welding is the harder process to master, but with practice and patience, you'll get the hang of it. Learn more about our products at ForneyIND.com. Have questions? Find answers at AskForney.com.